Do you say spigen or do you say spigen? Pass it on a little bit. Like, like, like that, like that, like that, like that. What's up everyone, it's William Wen right here. Today we're gonna to be checking out some clear lenses for the iPhone 13 Pro. And I've been using the iPhone for many years and although every year they come out with a new beautiful color, I almost never get to see it anyway because I put on the protective case since day one. I've had a lot of fun switching up cases that give your phone a different look. But this year with the new Sierra Blue that I got, I really like the color. We'll be testing three Max A's, including the official one from Apple. And what we'll be comparing is the price. Anti-yellowing, a lot of it will turn yellow over time and just makes it look old. Be comparing the hand feel, the material and processing they do on the phone will affect how the phone feels. We'll be looking at the weight differences too, because the iPhone 13 Pro is already a lot heavier than my previous 11 Pro. I can definitely feel the weight difference and the light the the case is, the better. We're gonna see three different Mac saves, including the one from Apple. So this is the official clear case with Mac save from Apple Store. And we have one from the Fug, and one we're gonna have one from Spigen. Do you say Spigen or do you say Spigen? I'm gonna call it Spigen. Yeah. Just has a more, it just feels better when you say spigen. Um, it's probably spigen, but I'm gonna say spigen. Spigen. Without further ado, let's get started. Right now we're gonna look at Apple's clear case and this is the MagSafe version. It goes for $69 Canadian, which is um, it's currently selling for $49 USD right now. $49 USD is about $60.60 Canadian. So you, you guys in the States uh, are getting a good deal for this case right here. So let's open it up. Pulls out very easily, very nicely. Okay, and let's look at the build quality. It's, I gotta say it's very light. Um, and it feels very smooth across all the surface. According to Apple's website, it's got the um, anti-resistant material on both sides. So it's less likely to scratch it. But yeah, it feels really good on the, on the hands. Very soft material. It doesn't feel hard at all and it is sturdy, definitely. Um, and let's put it in the phone case. Okay, and this little circle shows up, so I think it detects the, the max save that's over here. This is my uh, little guy uh, when he was like just a few days old. Uh, his name is Joshua. He's three now. Um, but I like, I really like this photo, so it's my cover. But anyways, the only complaint I have <laughs> is it doesn't fully cover the phone all the way around. Like on the bottom here, you'll see like where the connector and the speaker holes are. So the case doesn't cover in this part. So I think this part, you're probably gonna get scratched up. Other problem I have with this case is the side buttons here, um, like, and also the power button. It's, like sometimes you want to just slightly adjust the volume very quickly with one hand operation. The side button can feel quite firm, but it's not like a huge deal. I still feel this case is very well built all around, but I guess we'll have to see how I feel about the rest of the phone cases. Okay, now let's put the Apple clear case MagSafe on the weight scale and see how much it weighs. 28.45 and now we're going to do the um, max save test and see how well this sticks out to my apple's uh max save okay so it's definitely like 
right at the middle of the foam that it sticks up really well. You can't just you can't just toss it up. It's it's not that strong. You have to kind of place it on like that. You can't just toss it. No, it's not gonna work. No. Yeah, and you probably want to put some double side tapes on the bottom of this so that it's very stable. If I'm not holding it with my hands and I want to take it out, it sometimes could just like, you know, move it around a bit too much. But yeah, it, it's a pretty good suction. The, the magnets stick pretty well on it. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, way to go, Apple. Well designed, good quality, well built. So without the case, does it stick onto the MagSafe well? well? Let's see. Yeah, it's... It still sucks on, but I find the suction to be slightly weaker than with the, with the case on. Yeah, because I have to be kind of very gentle to place it on without the case. Moving on with the fuzz. This is a lot, it feels a lot lighter than the Apple clear case. Let's see how much it weighs. Surprisingly, not by much. It's 27.73. We're talking about less than one grams. Now, one thing that's stood out to me a little bit is when you put this case on, it doesn't show that animation like the Apple one. The, like the Apple case would do but yeah this one also works very well yeah I can kind of just toss it on a little bit like 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 that like that like that like that mm. so now let's take a look at the Spigen uh, Ultra Hybrid MagSafe case. Um, same thing, you pull up the tab to open it up. Take the case out, it's nicely wrapped. Pulling off the inside wheel, there's another one for the other side. And then we do the outside. So you can see it's super clear. It's very well built, very sleek. It doesn't feel like cheap rubber, which is very nice. It's somewhat flexible, but the back, I guess because it's, it's the MagSafe, so it's a little harder on the back, but the side material is pretty, pretty flexible. Now let's put it on the weight scale, 33.64 grams. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty heavy. You know, it's weird. Like it doesn't feel like it's that much heavier compared to the Apple one. Like the Apple one actually felt like it was the heaviest of all, but it's not. This Spigen Max Spigen safe weighs thirty three point six four grams. Let's put it on the phone and see how well it does. Does it show an animation? No. So I guess the animation only works for the Apple clear case. Now, does it work well on the MagSafe charger? Oh, it works pretty well. Let's do it again. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Maybe I'm getting better at this, but I can kind of throw it onto the charging stand. Or maybe the Spigen one does have a stronger magnet. Um, but yeah, I'm having a very successful throwing experience with the Spigen one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. Button test. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. It's very light easy to press which is very easy to press okay so the spigen 
clear case MagSafe. It's very nice. I would say for the money, it's 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 twenty three ninety nine. For the money, I think I would go with this. Of course, you don't get the little animation from Apple when you put the, put the case on. But how many times do you actually put on? The case yeah like for me i don't really take off the case that often so that little thing is not really a concern for me and besides it has the protectors all around rather than a huge opening from the apple one so i think this is a uh, this is a plus one for the spigen lightest middle heaviest but this one, the heaviest one, is only this is only twenty three ninety nine. The Apple one is sixty nine dollars, and the lightest one, the Fuzz, is sixteen ninety nine. So most bang for the buck is the Fuzz, but if you wanna count build quality, overall hand feel, the Spigen, Spigen. is a lot nicer than the Fuzz iPhone clear case is the clear winner for overall build quality the feel of the case itself um, everywhere just feels super smooth um, super high-end feeling and um, it does show the little animation when when you put the case on so which is uh, extra nice none of the other two will will bring up the apple animation but if you don't want to spend 69 and you want a really nice quality magsafe go for the spigen the spigen is Spigen's probably my winner today out of all the cases because i do want the magsafe so i can use it on in the car charger and um for the magsafe charger they say with with the MagSafe, it will charge faster than without the MagSafe. For $23.99, you can't go wrong. For $69, um, I would expect you to protect the bottom part of this. So that is my review of clear cases for the iPhone 13 Pro. You can get everything on Amazon and I will post a link down below. Ha <laughs> ha